a few years back, um, I don't know how much of my own personal history to tell you, but um, it's a, it a little over 10 years ago, um, something of this word that we carry as a, as a community began to break in on me. And, uh, and for a, a couple of years there, um, it, it, that there's a passage in Psalm 119 that says, they almost wiped me from the earth. And I, and I, I think you, probably everybody here can identify a little bit with that, where you feel like at one point, it, you, were, you, were, you were almost wiped off the earth. He's, he's bring all of us have been to this place, if you're, bo if you're born again, if you've been born from above and you have this incorruptible seed that's been planted in your heart, you were brought to a place where you had no hope in yourself. And, and you cried out to God and, and, he, and He gave you this gift. We are not going to be able to do anything in these days except it be God that's doing it in us. The thing that he's called us to do is impossible. With man it is impossible. This time of that we are in right now is preparation. It is we're judgment. You know, judgment isn't isn't it's God's judgments. You know, He says, if you come and follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. That's something that the making of a man of God, a mature man. God is. He's he's got more than just an individual in mind got in mind a corporate, a corporate man, act in moving in one accord in unity and God sees the corporate man and, and I think it's even by design that we that he we're in places where we feel like we're alone when when uh, you know when Jesus was on there was only man, one man that was truly alone and that was when Jesus was on the cross. 